we absolutely love this portable washing machine that we use when we go RVing. But we hadn't found a great solution for drying our clothes until now. And I'm going to share that with you in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. My name's Patrick, and if this is your first time here at Travels with Delaney, welcome. We're your channel all about RVing and living life to the fullest. If you'd like to learn more about our day-to-day -day lives and how we live in a log home, you can check out our brand new channel, TWD Life, and I'm going to put the link for that down below for you. But let's get right into this week's topic. We've actually owned the Cosway portable washing machine for a little over a year now, and we absolutely love it. That little washer has really served us well when we're out using our RV and wanna do some laundry. Now, if you don't believe me, check out the reviews for it. It gets amazing reviews both on the videos that I've done and also if you go over to Amazon, you can check out the reviews there. Whether people are using it in an RV or maybe in an apartment or even a home that doesn't have a washing machine, it works great. The one limitation was how do we dry our clothes? Now, all last summer when we were traveling, we were just using a portable folding rack that we had purchased at Walmart and we'd set the clothes outside and that worked pretty well. But when it doesn't work well is number one, if you're maybe at an RV park that doesn't allow you to put clothes outside to dry, or number two, the weather's just not conducive. And that could be a situation like it's raining out or there's just no sun and it takes forever to dry. But recently we came up with a solution Better yet, my brother-in-law came up with a solution. So he bought us the washing machine a year ago as a Christmas gift. And this year he bought us a portable dryer. It's the Panda portable dryer and who knew they even existed. But we already love this particular unit and we think it's gonna be perfect this summer when we're out RVing for a couple months. So let's go ahead and take a look at just the outside of the box and you can see it's going to be a pretty simple device and what I really like about it, especially for RVing, is it's lightweight. It says it weighs in at about eight and a half pounds. It's also power rated at 900 watts, so it's not going to be a significant draw um, if we're running off of solar. So I like that and I saved the box because it just makes storing it in an outside storage or in the back of our pickup truck really easy to carry it around in. Now, a lot of people ask us, where do you carry your portable washer when you're traveling? And we actually just put that in the bed of our pickup truck. And you might even notice some of the marks on it. It's kind of taken a beating over the last year plus, but it's held up really well. And so we're hoping we get the same great use out of this dryer that we did or have out of our washer. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, he purchased this over on Amazon, and I'm pretty sure you can get these for somewhere between $100 and $150. Now, my friend William over at Camper Life, he actually reviewed this unit quite a while ago, and he will tell you it works great for them as well. So you can check that video out. I'll put a link to it. So what you get in the box is, for starters, you get this cover, and we'll hold on to that for a second. The main unit is, in essence, like a small heater. You can actually see right down inside, possibly here on video, that there's a coil unit that's gonna heat up and then there's a fan that's going to blow hot air straight up. The dial actually has settings, not for heat, but for a timer. And that's gonna run anywhere from 30 minutes all the way up to uh, 180 minutes that you can run it before you'd have to start over again. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and put this together. They do give you an instruction manual. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and pull out the legs that attach to the base and you just kind of slide them right in. And I love the fact that you can put this together and take it apart. It's not a um, permanent type situation. So Otherwise, it would take up a lot of space in our trailer or our truck to haul it around, but you don't have to worry about that because you can see how easy it is to put this together. There we go, get it at the right angle. So there we've got it on its, on its base. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this moisture guard, and that's really designed, and it just fits over like that. That's just in case you have any moisture dripping down from above, it's protecting your heat unit, it'll just run off. And then we're gonna go ahead and screw the two poles together. 
And then we're going to screw that into the heating unit, just like that. And now we're just going to go ahead and put the drying rack here on the top and you just slip that on. And notice how these fold down. What that's gonna do is allow you to hang clothes either over these or with hangers. There's actual little notches here. So you can put hangers and your clothes will hang around here. Finally, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install our cover. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help keep the heat in here to actually dry whatever it is that you are drying. Now, the way this works is it's really simple. There's just a zipper here at the top, so we can zip this down. We're gonna put it around at the base. Zip it on up, pull our cover right on up and over, just like that. And then I'm going to zip it up a little further. Now, to make it easier, once you have this installed, they've actually included a zipper um, here on part of the top. So I can go ahead and zip to open up a section to get in and out. We don't have to take the whole thing off every time. But the way it works is when we get our clothes hung up in there, all we wanna do is just go ahead and zip it up completely. All three zippers. like that and there is the unit put together now one of the things that i like about this is there are actual vent holes here in the top that's going to allow steam to get out if it needs to because remember you're gonna have wet clothes in there with a lot of heat you're gonna need a place to vent they have that for you so i say let's go ahead now that we have it put together we're gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and give it a try all right so to actually operate it i plugged it into a 110 outlet and I'm actually using the outdoor outlet on our trailer. So you could use this inside or you could use it outside. But all we have to do once it's plugged in is there is a knob down here where we can turn it to on. And then we can also set it to a timer just like you would your home dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to on. And you'll barely hear it going it's really quiet so even if it's inside it's not going to be noisy or anything like that and you can see it's starting to fill up so as it takes in air and it heats up that air and blows it up this is going to start getting fuller then if i want i could go ahead and set it to a timer and again i have options so i'm going to go ahead go the other way with it and go to a 30 minute timer so if i want to dry my clothes for 30 minutes I can set that timer, walk away, and just forget about it. But knowing that it will shut off in 30 minutes. And like I said, that goes all the way up to 180 minutes of drying time. Super quiet. You don't have any settings as far as heat settings. It's one setting. But what we've found is it does a nice job, especially with lighter weight materials. We wear a lot of wicking type materials in the summer. This dries them super quick, especially with how dry they come out of our portable washer on the spin out mode. All right, so it's been running for about 10 minutes and I thought what we would do is see if we can get some kind of temperature check on this. And just on the outside, we're at about 85 degrees. But now what I wanna do is go to the inside and check it. So let's go ahead and we're gonna unzip it. I don't want to unzip too much here. So let's go ahead and we'll just bounce it off of that metal right there. And you can see 117, 115, 117. And then if I point it down at the mode, down at the plastic drip, again, I don't know if this is showing up, but we're at about 118, 120. So there's definitely some good hot air. And again, it's not gonna necessarily dry as fast as your home dryer, but it is going to work to help get those clothes dried. Now there's several different ways you could hang clothes in here. And like I mentioned, there's these little notches that you can hang hangers from. So if you wanted to, you could take things like towels and drape them just like this over a hanger, or you could actually just drape it directly on. So let's go ahead and throw a few things in here to just give you a better idea of how much space 
is actually in our Panda dryer. I'm gonna throw in a couple short sleeve button up shirts of mine. Throw in a pair of shorts. And I'm just gonna hang those over one of these. A pair of my knickers, nobody wants to see those. We're gonna throw those right in there. And we can throw in a pair of socks. Now, much more efficient use of space, again, would be to use everything on hangers, but if you didn't have enough hangers, you can see how you can hang things. And there is still space in there. And I've got two shirts, a pair of shorts, a pair of knickers, and a pair of socks, and a hand towel. So definitely can put a lot more in there. And again, all I would do is just zip it back up, just like that, and go ahead and turn it back on and we're back to drying those clothes. Now, I suppose you're wondering, how big is this thing in terms of having it inside your trailer? Well, I'm glad you asked because let's take it on inside so you can get perspective. So now we're in our Lance. I have it set up. It is running. I don't know if you can hear that. It's very quiet, but you can see even with this over here, I have plenty of room to get back to our bathroom. We can still use our dinette. Basically, our full trailer is accessible. Now, if you're wondering what size trailer this is, this is the Lance model number 1985, 23 feet from the tongue all the way back to the bumper. So it's not a huge trailer. It does have the slide out, but you can see we have plenty of space even in our 23 foot trailer to use our Panda. Now, one of the things you could do is you may worry about moisture and air, and I think that's fair, but I would just have some windows open and letting it vent out that way. Or if you have a fan, you could set it under a fan and use that fan to draw any heat out. So let's look at the energy usage. So right now I have nothing running in the trailer. So it's just minimal draw. It's like 1.5 amps, around 38 watts. Let's go ahead and turn on the Panda dryer and we'll see what it jumps to. And there you see it jumps up about a thousand watts and we go up to about 9.1 amps with the dryer running. So no gonna be no issues, even if we wanna run this off of our inverter, we have a 2000 watt inverter in here and we have 200 amp hours of lithium batteries. So there's your draw. Let's do one final test for noise, just using a app on my iPhone. So the app I'm gonna use is this one right up here that says DB meter. We're just gonna open that up. We're gonna hit start. So we're at about 42 to 43 decibels in the trailer. Let's go ahead and turn on. So we're running around 62 to 64 decibels with that running and I'm standing right beside of it. You can tell when I talk, I go much louder than that, popping up as high as 85 to 90 decibels. So it's a really quiet dryer. So it's not gonna be noisy if you have it inside your trailer or outside your trailer. So there you go. That is our Panda multifunction clothes dryer. It packs up really small, it's lightweight, and it's gonna do what we need it to do when we're traveling in our RV and it makes the perfect partner to our portable washing machine. Have any of you ever used this product before? Let me know down below if you have and what your experience has been. Till next time, everyone, we'll see ya on down the road. Good night.